The Scrum team is sometimes referred to as the development team because they're responsible for developing the product or result. It consists of a group of individuals who work on the user stories in the sprint backlog to create the deliverables for the project. The Scrum team, of course, has many different responsibilities, which will change according to what process is being conducted at the time. For instance, during the Create Deliverables process, the Scrum team creates deliverables, identifies risks, and implements risk mitigation actions, if any, and updates impediment log and dependencies. During the Conduct Daily Stand-Up process, the team updates burndown chart, scrum board, and impediment log discusses issues faced by individual members and seeks solutions to motivate the team, identifies risks, if any, and submits change requests, if required. Like the product owner and the Scrum Master, the Scrum team also participates in the Retrospect project meeting during the Retrospect project process. It's important for the Scrum team to possess all the essential skills required to carry out the work of the project. It's also necessary to have a high level of collaboration to maximize productivity so that minimal coordination is required to get things done. The optimum size for a scrum team is 6 to 10 members, large enough to ensure adequate skill sets, but small enough to collaborate easily. A key benefit of a 6 to 10 member team is that communication and management are typically simple and require minimal effort. However, there may also be drawbacks. One major drawback is that smaller teams are more significantly impacted by the loss of a team member than larger teams, even for a short period of time. To address this problem, it may be possible for team members to have expert knowledge and skills outside their own specific role. However, this may be difficult and depends on the type of project, industry, and size of the organization. It's also recommended to have a backup person to replace any person who may have to leave the Scrum team. We've just finished going over the core Scrum roles in detail. The responsibilities of each role will be further detailed when we address each Scrum process individually. Until then, you can keep in mind the following desirable traits for the core Scrum roles. For the product owner, you want someone who has Scrum expertise, business domain knowledge, excellent communication skills, Scrum process knowledge, ability to handle uncertainties, negotiation skills, someone who's approachable, someone who's proactive, decisive, pragmatic, and goal-oriented. For the Scrum Master, you want someone who can be a Scrum expert, a servant leader, a moderator, and a problem solver, someone who is approachable, a motivator, someone who is perceptive, someone who can act as a mentor, someone with great coordination skills, and someone who is introspective. And finally, for the Scrum team, you want people who can be knowledgeable about Scrum, people who are collaborative, self-organizing, and highly motivated, people who are proactive, people who are technical experts, but also cross-functional in their outlook. Team players, people who are independent and responsible, intuitive, goal-oriented, and introspective.